All right, so the first thing I'm going to start with is by going over the basic moves. These are the basic rules um, of rotating. So the first thing is a rotation of 90 degrees. Rotating 90 degrees is the same thing as rotating negative 270 degrees. So if ever you see something that says rotate negative 270 degrees or rotate 270 degrees clockwise, then you're doing the same thing as rotating 90 degrees. We also know that rotating 90 degrees turns our x comma y coordinate into a negative y comma x coordinate, which means what it means is that whatever our x was, that's going to become our new y. Whatever our y was, we're going to turn that negative and it's going to become our new x. Now, rotating 180 degrees is the same thing as rotating negative 180 degrees. So if something asks you to rotate negative 180 degrees, you just use the same rule for rotating 180 degrees, which is whatever x comma y is, we change that to negative x comma negative y. Both coordinates change. And the last one is rotating 270 degrees, which is the same thing as rotating negative 90 degrees. And when we rotate ni negative 90 degrees or positive 270 degrees, we turn our x comma y into negative y. I'm sorry, not negative y. I apologize. Into y comma negative x. Please do not get these two confused as to as they are similar but different. So they are not the same. They are similar, meaning in both of them we change the x and the y. But in this, when we're rotating 270 degrees, we make the x negative. In this one, when we're rotating 90 degrees, we make the y negative. Now, for this example, example three, I'm going to do that with you. I am actually going to pull out a separate sheet of paper so that I can work this on a separate sheet of paper because you may need a little bit more room. All right, so it says that triangle PAM is rotated 90 degrees four separate times. So each time we rotate, and based off of the notes we talked about already, each time we rotate, that's into a different quadrant. We're going to start with 90 degrees, then we add another 90, that's going to be 180 degrees. Then we add another 90, that's going to be 270 degrees. So we're going to use all three of these. And the great thing about the fourth rotation is that when it's at 360 degrees, it's the same exact triangle that it started with. So what I did was I took a piece of paper and I folded it into... I folded it four times so that I can have four separate problems to work it. So this is PAM. These are all the original coordinates that I took from right here. And I'm just going to use the rules. So this is going to be the first rotation at 90 degrees. And I know with 90 degrees, the rule is, whatever it is, x comma y turns into negative y comma x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by labeling all my x's and my y's. That's my x, that's my y. And now I'm going to do the rule. So the easiest way for me to do it is to write the whatever numbers first first. So I know that the y is going to become my new x. So my y is going to go here. But my y is going to become negative. Because this is negative 2, if I do negative negative 2, that's just going to be positive. You can put a plus there or you don't have to. You can just put a regular 2. Positive 2. And then my second number is going to be my original x. And that's going to stay the same. So the first is going to be 2 comma negative 1. I'm going to do the same thing here. My y is 0. You cannot turn 0 negative. So I'm just going to leave that as 0. And then my x is going to turn into my y. And that's going to stay the same. I'm going to do the same thing here. My y is going to become negative 3, but it's going to be a negative negative 3, so that's going to be a positive 3, comma, the x stays the same, but it turns into the y. So now I have positive 2, comma, negative 1, 0, comma, negative 1, positive 3, comma, 3. 
Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing, but this time for the second rotation. I'm sorry, for the first rotation, let me write out the new coordinates. 2, negative 1, Zero comma negative one, three comma three. For the second rotation, that's going to be one hundred and eighty degrees. In a one hundred and eighty degree rotation, the rule is x comma y turns into y comma x. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn all of these numbers negative. So that turns into negative one comma negative two. Negative and negative is going to be Positive 1, negative, negative is going to be positive 2. I'm sorry, it doesn't turn into x, comma, uh, y, comma, x. It turns into negative x. I'm sorry, negative x, comma, negative y. That was my fault. Negative, negative 1 is going to be positive 1, and negative 0 is going to be 0. Negative 3 is going to be negative 3, but negative negative 3 is going to be positive 3. And there, rotation 2 is already done. Now for rotation, I mean rotation 2 is done. For rotation 3, let's hold my paper back. I know that that's going to be 270 degrees, and the rule is going to be x comma y turns into y comma negative x. And so I'm going to just label my coordinates x, y, x, y, x, y. I always do this when the coordinates are going to switch. And so I'm going to switch that. I'm going to bring my y to the front. And the y remains the same this time. So it's negative 2, so I'm going to leave it as negative 2. But this x is going to turn negative. So it's already negative 1. I'm going to turn it to negative negative 1, which is going to be positive 1. My y is going to stay the same, so that's still 0. Negative negative 1 is going to be positive 1. My y is going to stay the same, so that's still going to be negative 3. Negative 3 is going to be negative 3. And there we have it. Negative 2 comma 1, 0 comma 1, and negative 3 comma negative 3. Oh, look at these. Pay attention to how these coordinates switched. It's pretty cool. I didn't notice that before. And we know the fourth rotation is all is going to be 360 degrees, and that's just a full circle. So the rotation is going to end up being the same exact numbers from the beginning. So I'm going to just rewrite those numbers. Negative 1, comma, negative 2. Negative 1, comma, 0. And then 3, comma, negative 3. And we're all done.